Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So in today's video, I think I'm actually going to ditch the Obsidian Grind since it's taking forever. But basically, I'm going back to the ISO SMG as you guys see on the screen. I have no idea if all these attachments are good or not, but they seem good. I'm really just using the ISO just to level it up because it's the only SMG I don't have on gold. So I just want to level it up, unlock all the camera challenges, and then hopefully try to get gold on it. But hopefully it's not as much of a pain as it was last time. I think I'm just going to ditch the Obsidian Grind until I get everything up to gold and hopefully Damascus. But I mean, I want to try and get gold on every single gun and then get platinum and then Damascus. Plus, in my opinion, Damascus just looks cooler than Obsidian. Call of Duty also added shoot the shit back to replace Weekend Warfare, which I mean, the good thing is that it does have shipment and you can play in hardcore. So that makes a lot of these camera challenges a lot easier to do. But anyways, guys, before I get into it, if you guys could please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and yeah, subscribe to the channel to show your support. I appreciate all of it. Support on the past Call of Duty videos that have just been insane. Thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it. But anyways, guys, let's get into it. All right, so with COD 20. 20. If you guys do remember, I made a video like two days ago basically just saying that some COD YouTubers and streamers, basically COD partners, got like a little crate, had a projector in it with slides, and they actually figured out what it meant with like the little words and things if you put the things over each other. Actually like made a letter to something and it took them to like a website or whatever. And apparently this is what was on the website, so this is a new thing that they did add. It's like a little note and I read it out to you guys. Wars are won, not just on the battlefield, but behind closed doors. Tactics, maneuvers, strategies, all pieces of a complex puzzle that means the difference between life and death conquering or being conquered code signals ciphers secret communications used by enemies and allies for thousands of years the plot unfolding now is decades in the making it will not be unraveled overnight while some battles can be won swiftly others will take days to unfold you have found the first piece of many relish the journey it's all part of the game the spoils of victory come not to those in haste but to those who know every battle is won before it's ever fought know your history and as well as that note a new thing that got added was this little sticky note thing that says forward slash tank web on the bottom of a monitor. I mean that note, it basically confirms Cold War because it says know your history. So it's probably going to be a game in the past for COD 2020, Cold War in the past. So probably go hand in hand. Plus it also says this is the first piece of the puzzle which means it's going to be teasing more. But come on Call of Duty, we already know it's Cold War. So just release like a trailer or something. Like come on now. I don't know what the little sticky note with the forward slash tangled web meant. I don't really know if that really has anything to do with it. But watch, Call of Duty is not going to drop Cold War. It's going to be a completely different game. But it's basically confirmed at this point. So I don't get why they're this straight bait and it's like this. Like, why do we have to figure it out? We already know what it is. But yeah, when COD 2020 does drop, I definitely plan on getting the mastery camera for that. Because, oh man. I rocked up to Mod Warfare a little bit late, but with COD 2020, hopefully I should rock up pretty early. Early enough to at least get the camera sort of early as well. Yo, I hate Shipman. Shipman's only good on hardcore. Just because enemies die quick, though. That's about it. You can't really do anything with this ISO because the ISO is such a bad magazine even though I equipped the dirty round. Hopefully when you do level it up, it does come with like, I don't know, like a 40 round. I feel like there's magazines where you have like 10 rounds, but it increases like your damage. I'm like, I don't care. I just want more rounds in my magazine. But yeah, I do wonder when Call of Duty is going to kind of tease Call of Duty 2020. Like, I wonder when they're going to add more stuff to that little website. I don't know why they're making us go to a website. Like, they made us decipher something just to go to a website. Like, I picked up some Render Dudes MP5, but hopefully I can do something with it. But yeah, I got to feel like something's going to happen with the live event that's going to be happening mid-season in Warzone. There's actually a little live event next to the walls and icon. It's like very dim, you can barely even see it. That's probably gonna light up when the event does come around. Cause even in the roadmap, it says that there's gonna be a mid-season event. So it's gonna be cool to see what that is. A lot of people reckon it's a nuke that's gonna blow up the dance. I know there's like an Easter egg you can do with Stadium right now to get a, like a, a weapon, kind of like how you could with the nuke bunker, but I don't know how to do it. Now, I don't know if that reveals more information about what's gonna happen with the mid-season event. But it'll be fun to see. I wonder if that's what they're planning on doing to actually kind of like announce or fully reveal Call of Duty 2020. I mean, it'd be a pain if they did that because a lot of people want it now because we already know what it is, but there you go, 50 round drums. 50 round drums actually makes this a decent SMG. Oh my god. But yeah, I kind of do wonder how COD 2020 will play. I wonder if they'll make it the futuristic style because it is Treyarch that's making it. They made the Black Ops games, like Black Ops 3 and stuff. And they're kind of known for like the futuristic kind of stuff. So it's going to be kind of funny seeing them do kind of like a old school game. 
But I mean, I've always liked Treyarch games. Like, Black Ops 3 was a pretty good Black Ops game. Like, I enjoyed Black Ops 3. But no, I got high hopes for COD 2020. I just want Call of Duty 2020 to come out already. And I wanted to reveal it just so I can try to go for the Mastery Camera. Also, with the note, there was like a lot of stuff about like spy stuff, you know, like ciphers and deciphering things. I don't know if it's actually talking about what we're doing right now, trying to decipher what the game is, or if it's actually about the game. With the Know Your History stuff and every battle is a 1 before 10 before, it's kind of like, yeah, it's basically describing a war, Know Your History, you know, wars in the past. So basically, it's gonna be probably gonna be Cold War. Like, it's not gonna be like World War II or anything because they already made that. But yeah, I just want them to actually drop something like a reveal trailer or something because it's like, how long do we have to wait until they actually reveal like the game's release date or even the game or even just some gameplay like that's what we need i got a feeling they're gonna drop it when the next gen consoles do release because that's probably the only platform you can play it on I swear the fire rate just got better with this gun now that I put the 50 round drums on. I feel like I made it bearable now. Sometimes I swear my reactions are just super slow because I don't know how people just know where I am instantly. Either it's like something to do with like the latency or whatever, but oh my god. I feel so sluggish when I don't have dead silence on. I don't even know what that dude was doing. Like when you're running around with this gun and you just don't have dead silence, you feel so slow. Why are you sitting back there, just mounted? Like, there's no reason to just be sitting there like that. Can I not mount up, please? Like, why did it mount me up? I didn't even press the button. Oh my goodness, I didn't mean to run up on that dude. I guess the good thing is that I am leveling up this gun, which is what I wanted to do. It would be a lot better to do it with double XP, but unfortunately I didn't max it out with double XP, plus I gave up because this gun was doo-doo. I swear the fire rate got increased. Oh, oh, ah. Bro! That person must have been running dead silence. I didn't even hear them. Why, why am I in a lobby with a bunch of sweats that are drop shotting everywhere? Like, why Call of Duty? I'm just trying to play normally, I'm not trying to go for any camera challenges, trying to mount up or anything, but this is still painful. See, I kind of do wonder what approach Treyarch's gonna take with Call of Duty Cold War. Because it's supposed to be like a historical thing, but I think it might be like a historical futuristic sort of thing. Or maybe when they say Cold War, it'd be like some Cold War set in the future or something. I don't know. Just say know your history, but it might be something like, it might not be what we mean when it says know your history. Because when it says know your history, you usually think about the past and you're like, oh yeah, it's probably a game from the past or whatever. But it might be something like, maybe within Cold War, they're learning from the history about other wars that have happened or whatever. I don't know. I mean, it's Treyarch. I'm used to Treyarch making futuristic games like Black Ops. So that's why I sort of think it might be a futuristic sort of thing. I don't mind futuristic games if it is a futuristic game. Like the cameras, I swear the cameras look a whole lot better in like the Black Ops games than they do now. As you guys can see, this is what I'm rocking with now. We've got slider hand and the 50 round drums, which actually does make it seem like a much better SMG. I've had the fire rate gone up quite a bit, which is weird, but slider hand actually makes the reload a whole lot better than I thought. But it actually does feel like the ISO is a half decent SMG now. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to show support. I appreciate all of it. Call of Duty is probably going to be dropping some little hints, kind of like they did today, regarding Call of Duty 2020. So I'll try to go over all of them so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but the fact that this gave us a note and a like reveal trailer yeah this is gonna be a really long drawn out reveal but again thank you all so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy see you all in the next one